I'm Marie from Southern Country Living and today I'm doing a Southern squash uh, casserole and this is some squash out of my garden and um, the ingredients in my recipe today is going to be uh, onion, some butter, some cheese, and naturally the main ingredient is squash, black pepper, and salt and I put just a pinch of cayenne pepper in it it's going to have cream of chicken soup in it, and I like to put green chilies in it. Sometimes I put bell pepper, but I'll, I really like green chilies the best. And uh, I'm going to have Ritz crackers on top and uh, mayonnaise. And uh, this is a recipe that I like to make uh, at a lot of our dinners. And so tonight, this is the one I'm making for uh, our dinner tonight. And also I have in my crock pot over here, I have some... Uh, pork chops and um, as I'm looking out my window right now I noticed that we have a tree that's blown down from the storm that we had the other night and um, so I guess Calvin I know what he'll be doing <laughs> soon he'll be having to uh, cut that tree up and um, also um, I'm glad that I got my tomato plants tied up the other day because it's been breezy here today but we've had real muggy and hot weather here in Georgia, and so it's nice to have this breeze and not so muggy weather. So um, let me get started on my recipe, and I'll, I'll be back. my um, squash um, cut up now. This is about two pounds of it. I use my um, slicing machine and so I'm going to put this in some about four cups of water. And I'm going to put a half an onion in this. I'm going to boil this until it's tender and I'm, I'm going to put some more water over it to cover the top of it. Alright, so I have uh, eight cups of water in my pot and I have uh, my onion and squash ready to go over here and I'm going to cook it until it uh, is tender and I'll uh, let me turn my iron and get that started. Okay. My squash is over here cooking in um, my boiler. And so, um, also, uh, next week I've got to go to another baby shower, shower that my uh, granddaughter is having. And so, I went and bought me another dress. Two, actually, I bought two dresses because I couldn't decide which one I like the best. I couldn't decide if I like the polka dot one the best. <laughs> and um, it's got stripes at the top and polka dots on it. And it's got a chain um, in the middle of it so you won't even have to wear a necklace or anything with it. And then this here is a, a brown one. It's got buttons in it. So I could wear a little necklace with this one right here. And then I also got this uh, blouse to wear under it. Under it, I could wear it actually under the brown one, and it's got little ruffles on the sleeves and around the neck, which I thought was cute. And it's real. Um, the material on it is real soft, and it's it'll be real cool for the summer. And. So, it would also look good under this one. 
So y'all tell me in the uh, comments below which one you like the best. I hadn't decided yet. So I'll just, whenever I put it on, that'll make my determination then on which one I like. I haven't even tried them on yet. I was just in a hurry and I ran in Ross's. This is where I got, a, got them at and said I like these two and came on out. <laughs> Okay, my squash and onion is boiling nicely now, and um, it won't, it'll be done in just a few minutes when it gets tender. And these onions in here smell really wonderful. Also, onion smells good in just about anything you cook, even when you're sauteing them. They smell wonderful. Okay, I have my squash drained now. And so I'm going to go ahead and put my butter in it. I put one fourth cup of butter in my squash and I'm letting it melt. Okay, now I'm going to put in my cream and chicken. Put in my mayonnaise. And this recipe will be in the description below. And I'll put in my cheese. And my green chilies. And my seasoning, which is a pinch of cayenne pepper, um, salt, and black pepper. Okay. I'll mix this up really good. I make um, squash casserole a lot of different ways. Um, there's all different recipes for squash casserole, but I like this one the best. Okay. So um, now then, let's see. I'm thinking about just bringing this over here and mixing it in this big pot because I don't think it will, this bowl is big enough. So I'll just bring my pot over here and put this in it. And this is going to be some good eating when it's done. I love squash casserole. And also like a little bit more black pepper. Okay. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in my nine by eleven pan and it's sprayed.
Okay, so now I'm going to put my rinse crackers on. So now I'm going to uh, put some melted butter on top. And now I'm going to be cooking this at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. Hi everyone, I'm back now and so on. Uh, my squash uh, casserole smells amazing. And over here I have a um, pork barbecue pork chop. I have okra and corn on the cob. And so let me scoop out some of this uh, squash casserole and do a taste test. It's good and creamy. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do the taste test in just a minute. <laughs> Okay, it just came out of the oven, so it's going to be very hot. Look at that steam coming off of it. Mmm. <laughs> Mm, that is very delicious. I'm really going to enjoy this meal in just a minute. <laughs> so I'm going to put some barbecue sauce in. This is Calvin's special recipe he makes. So I'm going to put some of his barbecue sauce on my pork chops. When he makes barbecue pork, this right here is really good on it. Squash casserole over here. Okay, this here is my uh, southern squash casserole recipe, and I think if y'all make it, you'll really enjoy it. So y'all do what you love and love what you do and see y'all on the next video. Bye. Do you ever feel you don't get out what you're putting in? Everything